The dugouts are empty, and the only helmets people on campus are wearing are hard hats. Construction is almost complete on Queen Creek's Castile High School. Middle school and freshman athletics will begin next fall. The man in charge of building the school's athletic department is Tom Dunn. Obviously, you got to start with coaches. You want a great program. You want a great school. You got to have great teachers. And so, same with athletics. The man Dunn identified to lead the football program was Spencer Stowers. Stowers turned around Mesa Westwood High School in his three years there as head coach, leading the Warriors to the Division II playoffs last season. This is the only program, uh, at least public school, in the state right now where a coach can take a step back and say, hey, I'm going to go open up a school. Uh, there's, it doesn't come along very often nowadays. Construction on Castile High School is set to be completed on July 1st, with the school opening its doors to grades 7 through 9 on July 20th. In just three years' time, the dirt field behind me will host its first varsity football game. Well, the school district's been great and uh, they're really supporting us and what we need and meeting our needs athletically because the, the startup costs are huge. I mean, we're buying uniforms and, and equipment for, uh, for you know, 30, 30 sports. Castile will field their first varsity football team in 2017. And in 2018, Castile will be placed in Division Three and begin playing conference games. You know, you got to be patient, right? It takes time. You can't do this overnight. Uh, I talk. Uh, we've talked a lot uh, as coaches that um, you know we're not going to have a varsity program for three years, so it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take time. Dunn and Stowers are hoping to build an athletic program that the surrounding community can be proud of. Reporting in Queen Creek, Ryan Baffalukas, Cronkite News.